So I painted the bottom of the boat. So everything I said in the video prior about painting the boat, it's not right. When you do this type of work on boats like this, it's about exploring and finding out what somebody else did or what they even did from the factory. So what I did, I sanded it down to the fairing. So I guess I'm pretty sure it, when it came out of the mold, it popped out and the first layer was gel coat. Then they fared it with a fairing compound. Then they put a barrier coat and then the bottom paint. Well, I sanded it down to the barrier coat and then I put five coats of West Systems Epoxy and then one coat of hard black bottom paint and then two coats of red ablative paint, which is softer and it'll rub away as you, as you go and it just keeps working. And it, this will probably last, this paint job is probably, a, I would say it's a two year paint job. Boy, it's early in the morning. You can tell that the fall is here because it's pretty brisk. It's the first brisk morning. But uh, so me and my grandson's out here cooking breakfast cowboy style and uh, getting ready to do fiberglass work because that's the little tent we got set up. So we got a little refrigerator, bug zapper. That's about gone because there's no more bugs. And uh, lots of fiberglass work. change when you're doing the when you're doing work on a boat I was planning on filling that whole section up in here all the way full but I don't think I'm gonna do it so the whole point to doing this is right above those those beams that are right there is the mast and that's where the pressure's coming down so I need to build that strong right there to where the beams that run through the stringers will hold those little boards up right there and hold the mast up. All right, now that that beam is, those beams are in there, I'm gonna do the exact same process. I'm gonna put three beams on this side, or two beams, whatever's gonna fit. Two beams on this side, two beams on this side, run them down the whole length, and then that'll hold these up. All right, so one, the next step, before I fill this stringer up, I'm going to make a ledger to set right here. And I'm going to make it one and a half inches wide. And then I'm going to drill a hole here, here, and here, and put bolts in it. And then this will get epoxied on. And then on the other side, I'll take, I'll get a, this. Put it on the other side too and epoxy it that way that'll strengthen that up i wish that this space was wider because when what the reason to do it is because once these beams go in i'll notch it out and then it'll set on that if there's a beam here it'll set on that and it'll make it super strong that way all the pressure from above will be supported Fourteen and a half. You, to cut that green board, you've got to have a diamond blade. I tried to find a diamond blade that was a 10 inch blade to where you could put it on a table saw. And I couldn't find I couldn't find one. So now I'm resorted to 
being less accurate because a table saw would make these perfect. But I got this is what I got. So we'll cut four of these. First, I'm gonna cut two of them and then drill the hole and see if everything lines up right. almost feel like making it three three times thicker you see how that wiggles there's a high spot right there so I'm gonna grind that down with the grinder Now it's flat. Let's glue it on. All this fiberglass from the skin of the boat is going to get ground down to a V. So it'll be thin here, thicker here, and then when you lay it, you go one little layer, another little bit layer in, and then a little bit layer in, a little bit layer in, and keep doing that over and over again until you build it all back up. So right here, there'll be a half inch, I mean five eighths to an inch worth of fiberglass. And then there'll be a lip here, so where the strut will come here, and it'll, it, that fiberglass skin will drop down and go all the way across and meet up with this. So you, on this side, I'll just since it's a small, it's small. I'll just use this epoxy. But over here, it's a big. So I think I'm going to go over there and go get some fiberglass and cut it up and put it in it. You see how that is? Now we'll just keep, get it good and mixed, and then go over and shove it in that in that space and form it. All right, so the ledger board is in, and I just went and found some old rusty screws and tapped them in there. They're barely in there, but it's just enough to hold it up. So that's in, that's gotta dry. 
And once that dry, dries, we'll go ahead and drill the holes. And I think I'm gonna use, I'm not gonna use a, like a half inch bolt. I, I think I'm gonna use maybe a quarter inch or a three eighths, not a really big one because I couldn't get the width. If it was wider, then I would have used three half inch bolts. But it's so small, I just, I don't feel like I can put that big a bolt in there. So right here's where the strut goes and there's a crack. So this, at one time, this, there's a hole here and they took this and made like a, sh a half inch sheet of, or five eighths sheet of fiberglass, set it down here, epoxied it down from the top, and then fiberglass over the top of it from the inside. That's how that set in there. So I could cut this out. I could cut that out, put a new one in if I wanted to, but it's not necessary. But there's a crack all around here. And I'm gonna grind that crack out fill it full of epoxy and then I'm going to take little bitty thin strips of fiberglass and just keep it building it out building it out until it looks like quarter round and then I'll put the strut up there I'll mark the strut where it where it ends on the edges and then that way I know when I build this corner up I can only go out so far because it'll get in the way of the strut so let's go up top and I'll show you how I'm going to strengthen all this from the inside too. So that right there is the post that holds the mast up on the deck because it's deck stepped. So that it sits there and then I've got this like a thing you would put in your basement to, to hold to relieve the pressure off the bottom where it sets so in there is where we got to go and it's not easy so if you there's where all those holes are is where that strut attaches so do you see how that piece was set down in there it was fiberglassed over then if you look right there that's where the ledger would be that we put on there so i'm going i ground all that down yesterday i'm going to tab this with eight layers of fiberglass probably maybe six and then look right look right there you see that crack that was where the crack ran the other way. So that crack is, all that got ground out and I'm gonna strength fix that. But that's not that big a deal. It's just a little bitty crack that sets next to the strut. You can, I'm gonna put about eight layers of fiberglass there too. And then that'll strengthen all that up. And plus we put all that strength on the other side. There's, no, there's never gonna be any more stress on this. So do you guys see how the design was stupid? They built this block under the mast first and then ran the stringers up to this and attached it after they built this. I And there's a crack there. And there's a crack there or they put it together and then they drilled holes in it and weakened it so made it even weaker and uh, it's definitely a design issue they should have put right here along the top of this all the way across the whole stringer they should have put like a half inch piece of steel that was attached to strengthen as it said on top of this fiberglass, but they didn't. This is like 1984, I guess. I don't know. It's a bad design. And, I, you know, the this boat really wasn't designed 
for a schooner rig. I think they just kind of guessed and threw it all together. And uh, because all, there's I think 85 of them made, or 84, four of them were these double-masted schooners. All the rest, the mast sits directly on top of the keel. So that the boat was designed like for that, for a swoop or something, not for a double-masted schooner. If you go, let's go take a look at the other mast. All right, so there's the mast post under the front mast. And they did the same thing. Do you see how that's a underneath that post, how it has a block? They built that block, and then they ran the stringers and attached it to the block. So that right there is the weak point, same place as the other one. But this one is twice as tall. It's twice as wide. So it's been able to it's it's been able to take the forces that's been put on it, and this one probably takes the brunt of the force because it takes the pressure from the Genoa and one of the stay sails. The other one's only half, only one sail, other than what's pulling on it from the front sails. So luckily, this one's in good shape, and uh, I don't, I'm not going to have to do anything to it. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fiberglass the bottom. So let's figure out how many, how wide. So we need a piece of fiberglass that's seven inches wide and then by 12. So the, the first thing needs to be done before we put the fiberglass, we need to make some thickened epoxy and even out all the structure that the fiberglass is going to lay on for everything's going to, there won't be any dips or anything in it. So when you lay that fiberglass, you won't get any air pockets and it'll bond well. So you, the first coat, first layer, nice, even it all out to where it's nice and smooth and flat. There. That's as good as it's going to get. There's one little line right there. All right. Now, where I filled those holes in, you just have to drill those back out. So now let's go down and cut the fiberglass as this stuff sets up a little bit and uh, get ready. The worst part, there it is, scissors. Losing your stuff non-stop. So what I say, eight layers. And that, I don't know, maybe four. I want that crack. I mean, that crack's not going to bother anything because it's just going right to the... To that strut that little corner it's all going to be great the other side directly under that crack is going to get ground down to like a 12 to 1 or an 8 to 1 so it's going to get all new fiberglass from the outside over the top of that crack so there's four right here and that stuff is thick i think i'm just going to go with four layers because that right there is that's a quarter inch thick. So, I, the guy at FNS that does this all the time, he said 10 layers of this would be 5 eighths of an inch, but I don't know. I'd have to, I gotta cut some up, see. 
because that'll tell me how many layers when I do the skin because the skin of the sailboat is 5 8 and I had to make it that thick once I put the skin back on and you need a little bit extra to do sanding so I'm thinking 14 12 I don't know so I'm gonna wet these out and just lay them on top of each other and then I'll wrap them with plastic carry it up there and then I'll lay each one individually I mean I could put them all together and then put the all just lay it all down in one and then roll it but I think it'll be stronger if we do one at a time scraper has dingleberries on it and it's no good let's try this one there that's better And then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna re, and then I'll roll it out. Like this. I mean, it don't hurt to let it overlap a little bit onto the, onto the, uh, I don't think it, the, But see right there see that air pocket that's because it's too tight that there see it coming out and work its way back out that's why I'm, I was one that's why one one at a time see right there is where the dip is I should have really to really get it to where there's no dips I should have let that set up a little bit more but It'd be all right. All right, that's one. And then I'm just gonna do that three, three more times and then do the same thing up against there and then that's that and we're done I might take over here along these bolts I think I'll fill it full of epoxy flatten it out right okay all the tabbing has been done so it's tabbed here to here which strengthen this this up this is at the same level as this on this side so I added here, now this is flat. So when you put the bolts in and you bed them, you'll use washers like this and set them there. And here where the crack was, it's all strengthened back up. So the next thing to do is to put this green board and epoxy it to this wall. But I have to wait until 
this dries enough to where I can take little pieces of cardboard and hot glue them together to scribe along that. That way when I set the, that down, it'll lay flush with the bottom. Because remember, the ledger on the other side is probably only up this high if I'm lucky. So when I drill the bolt holes through, they're only going to come somewhere here. I mean, I wish they could be here, but that's where the gap is where the beams are going to set. So that'll go right there. And then we'll glue it with hot glue. That right there. So now we'll just take, we'll put this and we'll take a black marker and run along it. And then we'll take the grinder and grind all that out. So let's see if I got it the first time. Ugh. It's not. So now the backing plate is in. Now remember, you see these cracks that are here and here. There's no reason to sit here and grind out all that gel coat and refiber glass over these cracks. It's worse making a new it's a bad design it's never going to hold what we're doing is going to make it last for ever until the boat's gone the we have to now we have to go out to the that little ledger and drill a super small hole and see where it comes out before we go dr drill big holes all right so finally I'm at the point to drill the holes. So I'm gonna angle it just a smidgen to go up. And this is gonna be like a test. And we're gonna drill a hole, see where it ends up on the other side. It felt pretty good. Let's go see. So that isn't enough. You see, I knew that was going to be an issue, but I have no choice because I have to have some meat on those beams to set on that ledger or it's just going to be weak. So we're just going to fill that hole back full of epoxy and I'll make more of an angle on it. All right, so there's the second attempt. So that's good. I don't know, can you see it? That's high enough. So that was at a, that's a, the most angle I could put on it. So I'm gonna do it there and there, three bolts. So I drilled one on the side, one on the side. And then on the one that was bad, I just went ahead and just re-drilled it. You know, now since it's at an angle, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go crazy and put five. I'm gonna do five. So now the ledger's all in. The next step is to putting the beams up in the springer. So it was a long process just to get to that. And there's a lot more work to do, but you know, it'll happen, it just takes time. And uh, I hope everybody's got something out of this.
especially guys that are trying to work on their boat. And it doesn't hurt having a seven-year-old to be able to squeeze into the smaller spaces. Not yet. So stay tuned for the next video. It'll be about putting the skin of the fiberglass on and getting the beams up. So the day's over.